to LaRose Smith of Chicago, Illinois, nonprofit home video and artwork creations. In this particular video, we will be looking at the UFO crop circles and the uh, connection to the Jerusalem Temple Mount. Uh, biblical, bright, glowing, holy hydrogen light creation based spacecraft that uh, centered itself over the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem uh, above the uh, octagonal building structure rough. It hoovered over the Golden Dome, which is looking like a basketball shaped sphere. And uh, it ex exhibited a bright glowing white light out from the uh, UFO spacecraft as it shot straight up in the sky. Now, this is where we make the big quantum leap as it relates to the brown skin, three fingers and one thumb Afghanistan alien that was, uh, whose UFO appeared over the Jerusalem Temple Mount, Dome of Rock, Octagonal Building Truck. Now this is, should be news for every uh, Christian in America and for all of the uh, descendants of the lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah. Because here we see for the first time a brown skinned alien that can be connected to Africa and the Jerusalem Temple Mount. Uh, his UFO appeared over the Dome of the Rock and shot straight up in the sky. Now, it also appeared in the skies over Israel and Jerusalem. Now, the modern Greek and Roman uh, based genealogical line of the Israelites that now inhabits the modern state of Israel, they started uh, launching missiles. Missiles at the uh, biblical will within the world like your father. It appeared over the Jerusalem Temple on Dome of the Rock. So this is where we see Zechariah 9, 13, scriptural reference or race war between the brown-skinned aliens that's connected to the great aliens. They have three fingers and one thumb uh, on each hand. They stand about three and a half feet tall. They have a brown circular cake like reproductive organ in the center of their belly. The brown reproductive cake circular organ has this chemical uh, correspondent uh, data of the ovum and sperm. So this brown skin in 8 and 18 is where the book of Genesis 2 7 normal headed body form of Adam and Eve was uh, copied from. As we look at this uh, great discovery as, we, as it relates to the Dome of Rock UFO we see that this brown skinned Afghanistan alien destroys the modern Eurocentric Temple Mount view of many Christians and Jews as his UFO is connected to the guardian of the normal hidden humans that now live on the planet Earth. So we can see that in 1967, a similar bright glowing hydrogen light based UFO was moving to the skies in uh, South America. As I call it the Piedmont, New Mexico, 1967 UFO, where it's a 33X9 UFO. Okay. So here's where we see the uh, Jerusalem Temple Mount, bright glowing hydrogen light based UFO. Actually being connected to the 1967 Piedmont, New Mexico. Now, as we reconnect the uh, UFO crop circles to the Dome of the Rock, other wall stone rectangular window frame images of a central Ethiopian cross that seems being flanked by one, two, three group of the pyramid squares. It's only when we look at the Egyptian pyramids from a helicopter, when we look straight down upon them from a uh, 12 to 6 o'clock position, do we see the one, two, three group in the pyramid bases as being geometrically represented within the dome of the rock, outer wall, stone rectangular window frame. This 100% confirms the book of Genesis 49 chapter 8 verse. Fourth son of Jacob, who's now cast down in front of the Isaiah 1919 Egyptian pyramid, as the book of Genesis 49 8, Ethiopian couching lion things of ancient Judaism. However, when we look at the brown skinned in Afghanistan alien, uh, which looked like a naked little brown alien. Okay. 
nothing between his legs, smooth skin, no hair, he has uh, a Valentine shaped uh, head, hard shaped head, okay, his brown skin Afghanistan alien is connected to the guardian of the normal hidden human race, so we can put him in the category of, of uh, Michael, but one of the guardian characters, right, if, if, if you th think about Michael and Raphael, Uriel, all these angels, okay, extraterrestrials, they are connected to ancient Egypt, Giza, Gaza, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. The Egyptian pyramids from a helicopter looking down upon the North African pyramid of Khufu. Straight down from a helicopter. You're going to see one, two, three group in the pyramid bases as the one, two, three group in the pyramid squares. And which appears within the dome of the rock, outer wall, stone rectangle, window frame, flanking the central Ethiopian cross. So when you look at my video, Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois, nonprofit home video artworks creation, we see that the Jerusalem Temple Mount, one, two, three group in the pyramid squares of the twelve sons of Jacob, fourth son of Jacob, then ancient, ancient, ancient Egypt, amongst the twelve sons of Jacob as the biblical North African, couching lion sphinx of ancient Giza and Gaza. So this lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah was the chief focus of the entire Jerusalem Temple Mount. It had nothing to do with a Greek and Roman false image of Jesus or Jehovah. That came in the man-based religions that took over Africa, Jerusalem, Egypt, Ethiopia, Giza, Gaza, and uh, Escalade, and Palestine. So if the lion thinks was the chief focus of the Jerusalem Temple Mount, how did we get tricked to believe that a white man called Jesus in the role was the chief focus? That's the 400-year-old mistranslated King James Bible in the man-based religion. So if they stole the African thing's history and glory uh, in front of the Egyptian pyramid, one, two, three group in the pyramid square, if you go to the dome and the rock out of war, you will reclaim that glory when you see a stone rectangular window frames flanking the entire outer surface of the octagonal building structure of King David and Solomon that has the golden dome called the Dome of the Rock. So each of the stone rectangular window frames had a vertical rectangular section of the Ethiopian cross and a horizontal rectangular section and a square in the center of that vertical and horizontal uh, section. That's the true Ethiopian cross. So don't be lied to again. It appears in the Dome of the Rock out of wall stone rectangular window frame. But the true Ethiopian cross represent a modern cross-shaped building structure located in modern Lalibela. Okay, where the square in the center of the Ethiopian cross that appears in the Dome of the Rock stone rectangular window frame appears when you're looking down upon the, the cross-shaped building structure in modern Alibaba from a helicopter. We see the square in the center of the roof. So, when you walk up to the holy building of King David and Solomon, uh, upon the Temple Mount platform of the, the octagonal platform of the Dome of the Rock. And you take a camera with you, you're going to see there's only four doors to eight walls. Four doors to enter into the holy building of King David and Solomon in Jerusalem. But only four doors uh, to eight walls. What does this mean? Well, when you look at the stone rectangular window frame flanking the first door, that's when you get the message of what the lion thinks in front of the Egyptian pyramid was trying to teach the normal hidden human race that now populates the entire world. That descended from the normal hidden Adam and Eve. What's the message? What's the message of the African lion thinks in front of the Egyptian pyramid? Who's one, two, three group in the pyramid squares as viewed as we see the area viewed the Egyptian pyramids from a helicopter. One, two, three square bases. They appear in the Dome of the Rock, stone rectangular window frame, the outer wall area, flanking the central Ethiopian cross. So what's the message of the African faith to the twelve sons of Jacob, according to the book of Psalms 105th chapter and 23rd verse? They left the Babylonian stone pyramid civilization of Ham, which is located in modern Iraq. So these twelve sons of Jacob was speaking the Islamic Aramaic Dead Sea Scroll language, where the entire Bible was translated from into English, Greek, Latin.
So if you ever heard a modern Palestinian speak, or, or, or one of the people in Iraq or Iran or Egypt or Giza, they're speaking in Islamic, Aramaic, Dead Sea Scroll Life, Egyptian pyramids, who's one, two, three group in the pyramid squares as, root, as we see the era of beauty, just in pyramids from a helicopter, one, two, three square bases. They appear in the dome of the rock, stone rectangular window frame, out of wall area, flanking the center of the open cross. So what's the message of the African faith to the 12 sons of Jacob, according to the book of Psalms, 105th chapter and 23rd verse? They left the Babylonian stealth pyramid civilization of hell, which is located in modern Iraq. So these 12 sons of Jacob were speaking the Islamic, Aramaic, D.C. scroll language where the entire Bible was translated from into English, Greek, Latin. So if you ever heard a modern Palestinian speak, or, or, or one of the people in Iraq or Iran or Egypt or Giza, they're speaking in Islamic, Aramaic, Dead Sea Scrolls language. So when you take a look at the original Dead Sea Scrolls, you see it's Islamic, Aramaic language. Okay? So what are we talking about? We're talking about the Islamic, Aramaic, Dead Sea Scroll language of the biblical black African lion sphinx in front of the Egyptian pyramids. So this is why, when we look at the message of the Dome of the Rock, there's four doors to eight walls of the octagonal building structure. So what's flanking the first door on the first level of the Dome of the Rock? So if you try to enter into that first door on the outside of the octagonal building structure of King David and Solomon, you have a stone rectangle window frame on the left side and the right side. So just like the door in your living room. In your living room, the door leading into your living room or into your uh, apartment. If you draw a strong rectangular window frame to the left of that door and write three triangles in it, okay? Well, these three triangles is a vertical triangle with a line at the base of the triangle. Okay, and then on the... Uh, so that's the left side of the door in your living, uh, leading into your apartment. A stone rectangular window frame that has three triangles. On the right side of the door leading into your apartment, draw another rectangular uh, window frame. And now put two X's in that uh, uh, rectangular window frame on the left side of your door. And guess what? Guess what the two X's represent? If you combine the Ethiopian cross to Martin Lali Bella, uh, it is, uh, if you turn it sideways on a blank piece of paper, you have the same X. So look at a white blank piece of paper. Now draw a vertical rectangular section and a horizontal rectangular section. Okay? Now turn that Ethiopian cross on a blank sheet of paper sideways. We have decoded the dome of the rock blanking uh, rectangular window frames, the entrance of the door. So... In your living room, the door leading to your apartment, draw a rectangular window frame on the left side of that door and a rectangular window frame on the right side. Now, put two X's in the right side rectangular window frame, uh, one X above the other. Now, to, to the uh, left side of the rectangular window frame, flanking your door, draw three triangles connected at their bases. So when you look at the Egyptian pyramids, in North Africa, of Genesis 49:8, fourth son of Jacob, at the lion sphinx in front of the Egyptian pyramids, you're looking down, you're looking straight forward at one, two, three triangles. Now, if you draw a line from the base of the triangles, you have one, two, three triangles resting on the line, the horizontal line, representing the equatorial perimeter of planet Earth, or the roof of the octagonal building structure uh, called the Dome of the Rock. That's the. Uh, so if that Dome of the Rock, architecturally and in theology, was chiefly focused on the African lion sphinx in front of the Egyptian pyramid, you've been lied to, oh Afro-American, 400-year-old mistranslated King James Bible thumper. You've been lied, you have been lied to by the 400-year-old Greek double eye upon the back of the American Dollar Bill Pyramid, who took over, according to Daniel 8, 12, Greek and Roman conquerors, as the Greek and Roman conquerors of Egypt, Giza, Gaza, Gaza, Ekra, Eskalon, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. When they denied the African lion sphinx, one, two, three group in the pyramid squares that appears within the Dome of the Rock out of Wall Stone Rectangular Winter Frame, they committed the greatest theological racism of all time. So this is what is brainwashing 
100 million Afro-Americans all around the world. So the next time you see a beautiful black sister holding up a 400-year-old mistranslated King James Bible, talking about Jesus saves, or Jesus the Greek white image of God, or Jehovah, two white man-made characters. This is all false. Now you have ammunition from Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois, to fight the 400-year-old mistranslated King James Bible tumblers that's promoting a man-based image of God in the form of a white man called Jesus and Jehovah. Uh, this is uh, incorrect, all right? Because I told you before, the chief focus of the Jerusalem Temple Mount was all about the Ethiopian lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah of Genesis 49 8 scriptural reference that's now couched down in front of the Isaiah 1919 Giza pyramids. It had nothing to do with the Greek and Roman image of Jesus or Jehovah. Once you make a note of that, then when you uh, go back in time and take a cell sample from Jesus, if you find him preaching in the streets, you need an electron microscope, you will find the truth out for yourself. But you will, so what happened? Well, the biblical light that created the world is shining 93 million miles away across the black outer east of space towards the best of shaped earth. So we're talking about a 15 billion year old sun zone in astronomy creating a 5 billion year old earth. All right, so what's traveling from the sun to the earth is the solar wind and a glowing hydrogen-like atoms, which represent the hydrogen-like element of all human souls. So this is why we see the physical light that light of every man that comes to the world, uh, light going around the chemical circular area of a cell sample taken from Jesus, or a normally hit human. So in this ionized circular hydrogen-like plasma form, as we uncover the physical light that created the world to be shining 93 million miles away across the black outer regions of space towards the best of our shape Earth. We see the bar-shaped female earth ovum in biology 101. We see the black woman, reproductive basketball-shaped earth ovum. Representing the basketball-shaped earth. So the epithelial cells that make up the, the uh, brown female earth ovum, basketball-shaped female earth ovum, they all have chemical circular cells. And the black dot in the center of the chemical circular cell re representing the cell nucleus. What do we see growing around the chemical circular area of the cell within the ball-shaped female earth bone epithelial cells that make up the cell walls? We see a glowing hydrogen light circle glowing around the chemical circular area of the epithelial cells in this ionized circular hydrogen like plasma form. To be first John 1 1 biblical light that existed before the 5 billion year old world. The biblical 15 billion year old sun tone written upon all the ancient Egyptian temple hall as Malachi 4 2 sun with wings. Your soul came from the sun. As long as the white devil that took over Africa denied the sun throne of God to the normal of the humans. And now populate the entire surface of planet Earth that was created in Genesis 2 7. He can, he can extend his 6,000 year rule. Now it's time for you to wake up, old Afro American 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible Thumper. And I'm talking to every minister and preacher and pastor in every neighborhood church. As long as they preach a man-based image of Jesus and Jehovah, they are brainwashing your innocent black children when you send them to Sunday school. Why? Why? Because if the sun thrown a God shining 93 million miles away across the black outer reach of space towards the best of our sheep earth, if it stops shining 93 million miles away, the earth will go into total dark. It'll never be another morning again. Why? Because 1 John 1, 1, biblical light of the world, as the biblical light that created the world, as the biblical light that existed before the world, has stopped shining 93 million miles away, across the black outer east of space, towards the best of our shape earth. So when the world goes into total darkness, every minister and preacher in your neighborhood church will fall down on their knees and pray to a Greek and white image of God, which is false. And they're going to get on their knees, every black minister and preacher, in your neighborhood. You see black people on their knees praying to a false Greek and Roman man-made image of God. Now the world is in black darkness. This is day three. All It's all cold on every surface of the basketball shaped earth. All the black people and ministers are on their knees praying to a false man-made image of God. To make the sun stop shining. Star, star back up shining. Don't you get it? 
there be in eternal darkness on their knees praying to a false Greek and Roman man-made image of Jesus and Jehovah. Why? Because the original light of the world has stopped shining on the world. This 93 million miles away across the black outer regions of space. This is how we destroy the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible thump with physical lie that's brainwashing innocent black Afro-American children in Sunday school. So if the sun stops shining in this very moment, the physical light of the world, okay, is the physical light that 1 John 1 1 speaks of that created the world. Now you get my point? So don't ever go back to Sunday school without challenging the man-based religion.
Egyptian pyramids. Whose one, two, three group in the pyramid squares as, viewed, as we see the area of viewed Egyptian pyramids from a helicopter. One, two, three square bases. They appear in the dome of the rock, stone rectangular window frame, down the wall area, flanking the central Ethiopian cross. So what's the message of the African faith to the 12 sons of Jacob, according to the book of Psalms, 105th chapter and 23rd verse? They left the Babylonian stealth pyramid civilization of hell, which is located in modern Iraq. So these 12 sons of Jacob were speaking the Islamic Aramaic DC scroll language, where the entire Bible was translated from into English, Greek, Latin. So if you ever heard a modern Palestinian speak, or, or, or one of the people in Iraq or Iran or Egypt or Giza, they're speaking the Islamic Aramaic DC scroll language. So when you take a look at the original DC scrolls, you see it's Islamic Aramaic language. Okay? So what are we talking about? We're talking about the Islamic Aramaic Dead Sea Scroll language of the biblical black African lion thing to punish the Egyptian pyramids. So this is why when we look at the message of the Dome of the Rock, there's four doors to eight walls of the octagonal building structure. So what's flanking the first door on the first level of the Dome of the Rock? So if you try to enter into that first door on the outside of the octagonal building structure, King David and Solomon, you have a stone rectangle and window frame on the left side and the right side. So just like the door in your living room. In your living room, the door leading into your living room or into your uh, park. If you draw a stone rectangle and window frame, so up with that door and write three triangles in it. Okay. Well, these three triangles are vertical triangles with a line at the base of the triangle. Okay, and then on the, um, so that's the left side of the door and you live leading into your apartment. A stone rectangle window frame that has three triangles. On the right side of the door leading to your apartment, draw another rectangular uh, window frame. And now put two X's in that, uh, uh, rectangular window frame on the left side of your door. And guess what? Guess what the two X's represent? If you combine... The Ethiopian cross in Martin Lalibela, uh, it is, uh, if you turn it sideways on a blank piece of paper, you have the same X. So look at a white blank piece of paper. Now draw a vertical rectangular section and a horizontal rectangular section. Okay? Now turn that Ethiopian cross on a blank sheet of paper sideways. We have decoded the dome of the rock blanking uh, rectangular window frames the entrance of the door. So, in your living room, the door leading to your apartment, draw a rectangular window frame on the left side of that door, and a rectangular window frame on the right side. Now, put two X's in the right side rectangular window frame, uh, one X above the other. Now, to, to the uh, left side of the rectangular window frame, flanking your door, draw three triangles, connected at their bases. So when you look at the Egyptian pyramid in North Africa of Genesis 49.8, fourth son of Jacob, at the lion sphinx in front of the Egyptian pyramid, you're looking down, you're looking straight forward at one, two, three triangles. Now if you draw a line from the base of the triangles, you have one, two, three triangles resting on the line, the horizontal line, representing the equatorial perimeter of planet Earth, or the roof of the octagonal building structure uh, called the Dome of the Rock. That's that. Uh, so if that Dome of the Rock, architecturally and in theology, was chiefly focused on the African lion things in front of the Egyptian pyramid, you've been lied to, oh Afro-American, 400-year-old mistranslated King James Bible thumper. You've been lied, you have been lied to by the 400-year-old Greek double eye upon the back of the American dollar bill pyramid who took over, according to Daniel 8, 12, Greek and Roman conquerors, as the Greek and Roman conquerors, of Egypt, Giza, Gaza, Gaza, Ekron, Eskalon, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. When they denied the African lion sphinx, one, two, three group in the pyramid squares, that appears within the dome of the rock, out of wall, stone, rectangular, winter frame. They committed the greatest theological racism of all time. So this is what is brainwashing 100 million Afro-Americans all around the world. So the next time you see a beautiful black sister holding up a 400-year-old mistranslated King James Bible talking about Jesus saves or Jesus the Greek 
white image of God or Jehovah, two white man-made characters. This is all false. Now you have ammunition from Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois to fight the 400-year-old mistranslated King James Bible Temple that's promoting a man-based image of God in the form of a white man called Jesus and Jehovah. Uh, this is uh, incorrect. Alright? Because I told you before, the chief focus of the Jerusalem Temple Mount was all about the Ethiopian lion sphinx of the tribe of Judah of Genesis 49.8 scriptural reference that's now couched down in front of the Isaiah 19.19 Giza pyramids. The pyramid seems to represent the Isaiah 19.19 Giza pyramids. Master pyramid. Where we see an elongated, hidden African face of Common Ison's Chinese satellite image, Pyramid 7 form. The UFOs that seen around Common Ison. <laughs> the UFOs that seen around Common Ison as it rotates within the ball of, of bright glowing and holy hydrogen light of creation is the same UFOs that appeared in the uh, skies over Texas out of a whirlwind as a T-9 UFO. When we look at the T-9 UFO, we see the Jerusalem Temple Mount interior golden dome image of a circular UFO 101. When you take and carve the interior of the dome of the rock, golden dome out and superimpose it up in the sky next to the T9 Texas UFO, we see a match. In other words, we have decoded Allah as Yeshua returning to planet Earth in the bald bright light, a pyramid that is, that is encompassed within the holy hydrogen light creation uh, radiance. And it is connected to the interior circles of all holy building sites of golden domes. This, this, seems, this seems to be the message of the aliens in which accompany Allah and elongated headed Allah as Yeshua that created Genesis 2 7, normal headed human race. When we identified Common Ison 666 years ago, destroying half of the Greek and Roman population of Europe with the Black Plague, we have uncovered the Black God of the Bible, chastising the entire continent of Europe in the form of a comet which was appeared in the skies in six, 666 years ago. So this is why the Greeks that conquered Africa in Daniel 8.12 and is spoken of as in the book of Joel, J-O-E-L. -E